In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga, mga kapatid. Pinamahal kong kapatid, natipon tayo dito ngayong umaga sa magandang basilika ng ating ina ng Manawag. Kasunod na nakasanayang tradisyon, pumupunta tayo dito bilang isang mapagpakumbabang komunidad sa isang paklalagbay upang magpasalamat sa Panginoon at sa inanong Diyos para sa kanilang mga pagpapala, pagpapala at proteksyon. At inadasal natin, Inang Maria, patuloy mo kaming pagpapalain Makasama ka sa aming mga pakikibaka, lalo na sa hirap ng panahon nito, na kami ay maging matapat sa iyo, kami ay maging hingkot sa iyo bilang aming ina at aming reyna. And as we come to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins and ask the good Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greater sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Faithful God, you will that the order of preachers be instituted for the salvation of souls under the special patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and that it be filled with her unceasing favors. Hear our prayers and bring us to the glory of heaven, protected by her whose feast we celebrate today. We ask this, the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed unto the people for servants the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. 
Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Misha, they tried to go on the Bithania, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Misha and came down to Throas. During the night, Paul had the vision. The Macedonians stood before him and implored with his these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen this vision, he sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, His people, the flock He tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please rise. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, for Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world. The world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Namina Mahal kung kapatid, kung maglalaan kayo ng oras upang Basahin ang Ebanghelyo sa simula. May isang bagay ng anting sa ating mga puso. Simula ng kanyang buhay ay naghihirap ng husto ni si Jesus. 
Siya ay pinangganak na hindi sa isang hospital o isang simpleng kwarto, pero sa isang sapsaban. Nagatakas siya sa pagpatay ng mga sundalo ng isang nagsiselos na hari. Siya ay naging isang takas sa isang uh, banyagang lupa na tayo ay pag-aari ng Diyos. Mayroong labis na kagalakan na mababilang kay Jesus kaysa maging payapa sa mundo. Amen. Please rise. We joyously praise the Lord who raised His Son from death and so assured us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help in times of trial. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, especially the Pope, and our bishops may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel His sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in this life especially the sick, may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, Hear our prayers, and let your love grow in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O Lord, by your forgiving love and by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may this offering bring us prosperity and peace both now and forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As we celebrate the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through the power of the Holy Spirit, she became the Virgin Mother of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is forever the light of the world. Through him the choirs of angels and all the powers of heaven praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in the unending hymn. You are indeed holy, O Lord, <clears throat> the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please rise. Let us pray. Father, strengthened by the body and blood of your Son, we rejoice in the protection of his mother. Help us to live in hope. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel as we pray the Oratio Imperata. Let us turn to Mary help for Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the Church in Lingay and Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in the journey of priestly formation. Mary, help our Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire are you to follow the voice of your Son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. 
you were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day, stay with us in prayer, so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians, grant you your prayers and vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who were reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians, grant you your prayers. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the Church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians, being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.